Hey, let's play and welcome back to more SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 with me here. They call me in the last video. We uh, went up into the uh, Royal Rumble. We started at one and now we're here. Huh, stupid joke again. Anyways, we got a message from Theodore Long. Great match tonight, player, but I got some bad news for you. You should have looked at Matt Hardy's entry number a little more closely. It wasn't 29, it was 9. I knew it, the bastard. And he just drew a 2 in front of it. So I know you got your hopes up about entering the Rumble second to last, dog. But it turns out you're currently 13. Rey Mysterio's own number. Hey, at least it's a step up, right, Tilo? I don't know if you've seen JBL's little rant on WWE.com, but don't worry about it, player. He could throw all the temper tantrum he wants. But at the end of the day, I'm still general manager of SmackDown. Anyways, we got more important things to go over. I wanted to tell you about the match I've put you in tonight against Paul Burchill, the Great Colleen, and Chris Bomont, four-man elimination battle royal. And the longer you stay in, the better your Royal Rumble entry number is going to be. The winner of uh, the match has their entry number increased by 10 places. So, uh, 29. Or, no, 23. Wow. Stupid me. Uh, all losers of the match will have their entry numbers lowered by five places. So as you can see, it, this is going to be a heck of a match, and it's a great chance for you to dramatically improve your odds into the Royal Rumble. Good luck, player. t -Lo. Paul Burchill comes swinging down from the ledge in this. Oh my god, yes. And the opponent. Uh, Paul Burchill's the best. What an entrance. The pirate. Very short lived. Very short lived. And he came back and started doing the uh, freaking uh, curb stomp as a finisher, if I recall correctly. With Katie Lee Burchill. And they had like some weird, like incestuous relationship with each other. Good times. So I'm not entirely sure what. Oh god, that's not good. What uh, the way is to eliminate people in this game. Honestly, can't remember. Is it turnbuckles? No, eh? Just throw them over, I assume. Oh shit, what am I doing? Holy crap! <laughs> I didn't expect that from uh, Boogeyman, but uh, it was pretty cool looking nonetheless. Oh, Chris Maul wants to go? Alright. We've had our uh, ups and downs of Chris Maul already in this play playthrough, so. Uh, oh, Burchill with a punch. Small package, yep, that's... Oh, it's a pin! Flip, it's a pin. I thought it was a over-the-top rope elimination. Alright. Now that I know that it's a pin, I'll start uh, pounding some bitches. You stay away from me, big boy. Ow! He's like the last guy I want to fight right now, even though I think... Technically, Chris Benoit is the strongest son of a diddly. Get off me. Get up. Get up. Oh, jeez, Louise. Great Khali looks terrifying in this game, FYI. Like, what the hell? Virgil's got a finisher. I can't even kick him. <laughs> How am I supposed to beat him if I can't kick him? He pushed me and I got injured. Oh, I punched him in the dick. That's how you beat him. Punch him right in his willy. There's no defense to punch the game punched in the dick. Oh, Burchell with the finisher. Can't remember what he calls that, but uh, it looked freaking cool. Oh, I can't pick him up. Why did I even attempt to do that? How can I not pick him up? Ain't I a heavyweight? He's a su I know he's a super heavyweight, but I'm a heavyweight, so I should be able to pick him up. Ridiculous. I can't even kick him! Uh, I guess I'll just keep punching him in the dick then. And hope for the best. Oh god! Running choke. i never seen Kali run so fast in my life. Right. Yeah, good luck. Good luck German suplexing in there. Alright, keep punching him in the dick. It's the only thing that's injuring him in the slightest. There you go. Oh, oh can't clothesline him. Just gotta hit him with one move so I can pin him. I'm gonna take him off the top rope. That's got that's gotta work, right? Take Kali off the top rope. Have no momentum at all. Get up, Boogster. Alright. Take him off the top rope. I 
can't even get him on the top rope. Are you kidding me? Okay, Super Heavyweight apparently is like the way to go in this game because you can't even grab him. Oh boy, I mean, oh, big knee to the gut. If I had my finisher, I'd be able to beat him, but I do not, so. There we go. Here we go. Choke him in the corner. <laughs> Maybe that will do it. Go to the pin. Come on, ref. One, two, three, four. There we go. Took out the big man. Took out the big man. That's what matters. Don't mind me. I'm just taunting over here. Doing, doing the thriller. No, Burchill. Boogie or Cali's lost five spots. Hopefully, I won't have to face him in the, the rumble. That would suck. It's probably double team Benoit would probably be the best idea right now. Oh, Virgil, why? Why? No, Virgil. The knee of the face, right? Yeah. Oh, nasty. Come on. Get up. Get up. <laughs> All right. Stay away from Birchill. Undo this turnbuckle. He's to my advantage. Build up some momentum. No. Yeah, face Benoit. No, Benoit. Go after Benoit. There you go. I need to build. I need to build up my stamina, not my momentum. I keep saying stamina. Get out of the way. Exposed turnbuckle. Take him on top. <laughs> Got a double team Benoit. Boom. You stay away. I'm not interested in what you're selling. Oh, you bastard. Shit. If he hits me with that finisher, I'm done, skis. So I will stay away from Birchill. Nope. Not interested. There you go. Yeah, face him. Oh, this isn't good. I'm going to walk right into him. No. No. Shit. Oh. Fuck me. Damn it. Oh, I kicked out. Oh, oh, get owned, son. Get owned. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this sucks. I'm going to tap out to Benoit. No, I don't want to tap out. Oh, thank God. Fight each other. Thank you. Leave me alone. There we go. There the turnbuckle over here, too. Apparently I get momentum for taking off the turnbuckle. Apparently my dirty wrestler all of a sudden. So I'll uh, just, you know, remove all the turnbuckles. Stay away. Back. Back, foul beast. Alright, there we go. Take care of Benoit for me. Take care of Benoit for me, or not. Okay, fine. Then I'll bust his legs open. Gotta weaken him down. Oh, big face crusher. He's descended from pirates. Back off. Get your own sandwich. Burchill. Oh, here we go. Big slam. Big slam. Boom. Burchill down and out. One. Two. Three. Oh yeah, down to me and Benoit. Not today. Missed with the clothesline. I don't know how many times I've done that. There we go. All right, build up that stamina. Okay. Halfway up. Okay, here we go. Big neck breaker. Take him down. Why can't I hit the? Why can't I hit the, the flipping thing? There we go. Clothesline. There we go. It's the worm. Is it going to take him out? W-O-R-M. Boogeyman. 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 Who? 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 Clunk. All right, get up. Get up. Get up. I lost momentum for doing that. That makes sense, right? Missed the clothesline. Missed the clothesline. Missed the clothesline. Missed the clothesline. There we go. Finally, hits the clothesline. 
Build up the stamina. Hit the worm again. One more time. Do the worm to Chris Ben Wah. Clunk. There we go. Pin him. One, two, three. I eliminate everybody. Whoa, easy there, pal. I'm not looking for a fight. I've got everything I need to beat you right here in my hand. What are you talking about? You know you couldn't beat me on your best day. You're already beat, pal. It specifically says right here in my Royal Rumble contract that the contract is fully notarized, binding, and non-transferable. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that Teddy Long had no legal right to give you my Royal Rumble spot. So I just want to thank you for all the hard work you put in to try and improve my Royal Rumble entry number. Last week, John Bradshaw Layfield claimed that SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long was beyond his legal rights when he awarded JBL's Royal Rumble spot to the Boogeyman. WWE.com can now report that Long is prepared to uh, prepare for JBL's legal challenge and his alternate plan for resolving the issue with tonight's SmackDown. JBL might be right and he might be, not be, says Long. That's a matter for the course to decide. And let me tell you something. The Royal Rumble in three days, uh, is, is three days away and the wheels of justice turn very, very slowly. You feel me? He might get the outcome he's looking for, but it won't do him any good if he gets it if he gets it after the rumble has come and gone. Long suggests uh, Long suggestion involves putting JBL and the Boogeyman in a ladder match tonight on SmackDown with the Royal Rumble entry number in the question encased in the briefcase suspended above the ring. This this is SmackDown, and we settle our business in the ring, says Long. You get the briefcase, you go to the rumble, and a story. As a condition of accepting the match, JBL would have to give up any right to his legal challenge. The Boogeyman supports the plan. As far as I'm concerned, I've earned my spot in the Royal Rumble, says the Boogeyman, but I've got to protect my long-term interests. And the last thing I want is for JBL to swoop in with his lawyers once I win the Rumble and take away my WrestleMania title match. JBL was not available for comment for this article, but he is expecting to appear on SmackDown tonight, and with only three days to go before the Royal Rumble, he will indeed have to accept Long's offer in order to have any chance of appearing in the main event. without his entire legal team. I guess he's going to actually try and earn his place in the Royal Rumble after all. Jeez, Cole, you're being a little hard on him, man. Eh? I mean, think about it for just one second. Teddy Long put him in a tough spot. You want to talk about fair? He got a Royal Rumble number by random draw, just like everybody else in the locker room fair and square. Remember, it was his own complaining that got him in this mess in the first place. I've got a lot of respect for this man, Taz. He didn't have to accept this match and risk his entry number at all. I mean, Teddy Long is right about the slow wheels of justice. There's no way he could have legally lost his Royal Rumble entry before this Sunday. Yeah, who knows? He could have had the victory overturned if he had won the Royal Rumble, Bo. I saw that report on WWE.com. He's got just as much at stake here as his opponent. A Mile High City, Denver, Colorado is home to SmackDown tonight, and what a show we've got for you. Without a doubt, Cole, tonight's show is going to be off the show. All right, let's do it, JB Ezzel. Oh, we can taunt early on in the bat. How do you like them apples? The Thriller is up in your face. Oh, the headlock. Nice headlock. I'll give me that. I'll give you that. Oh, an arm wrench. Very weird-looking arm wrench. Not today. Yeah, cross chop. All right, let's get the slider in here. Let's start the business. This is business time. It's business time, baby. Uh, just bash him to death with the ladder. Uh. Oh, shit, son. Give me that. Oh, missed him. Oh, yeah, I want to go outside. That's cool. Uh, get on that. Leg drop right across the neck. Okay, got to regain stamina. I'll let him. I'll let him rest on that ladder while I regain the stamina back to full. That's fine by me. Back onto the ladder. Another leg drop across the neck. Oh, you want another ladder shot? Boom. Put that ladder down. How about a JBL power bomb? Hmm? Put that cigar out on the back of your fat ass. 
Ooh, big time power bomb. Right. How do I reach for it? Not like that, apparently. <laughs> uh, all right, get up, Bookster. Again, stamina. Grab the ladder. Place the ladder. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Oh, reversal, eh? Oh, reversal. Get out of here. Oh, you're getting back up already. It's impressive. Stay down. Killed the ref, apparently. Alright. Find the sweet spot. There it is. This is how it should be for any ladder match, FYI. Perfect sweet spot right here. Uh-uh. Oh, shit tits. Ah! Uh, oh, God. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Uh, oh, I'm going to lose. I lost. I lost. Sweet. Damn you, JBL. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, of course, you can watch more great videos over on the side of this video here just by clicking on them. If you're on the computer, if you're on uh, mobile, then no luck for you because annotations don't work. But I thank you for watching. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go to www.patreon.com slash true they call me and uh, give a donation. If you don't have any money, now you can do something else. You can waste your time by going to givetad.com slash true they call me, downloading that app, and you can watch some ads for me, which will give me pennies to the dollar, but it's worth it, you know? If you don't have the money to spend, might as well waste some time and uh, help out one of your favorite YouTubers. If you feel like following me anywhere else, facebook.com slash Twitter.com slash and I will catch you on the next video, guys. Peace.